Moise Katumbi arrived at the border between Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo with his supporters filming his journey. The DRC government has denied many journalists access to the border area. Katumbi managed to get to no man's land, but police quickly forced him back across the border into Zambia. Katumbi went into exile in 2016 after falling out with President Joseph Kabila. He was accused of trying to topple the government using foreign mercenaries and later sentenced in his absence to three years in prison for real estate fraud. Government officials say he will be arrested if he manages to return. Tension is high in his strongholds. If they don't let Katumbi in, there will be no election. We'll make sure of it. Another opposition figure, Jean-Pierre Bemba, is watching closely. He's just returned after 11 years in the Netherlands, 10 of them in prison, as he faced trial at the International Criminal Court for war crimes. After his recent acquittal, Bemba also has ambitions to be president. The situation is uh, very sad and uh, I feel very sorry for Mr. Katumbi, uh, who did not allow him to, to come back to his own country. I think this period of time is very important for the election. Uh, for me, everybody should be able to participate in the election. Exclusion is not good. Government officials say that Moise Katumbi has not used the right procedure to get into the country, and he's just trying to cause trouble. Katumbi insists that he just wants to come to the capital, Kinshasa, and submit his papers to the Electoral Commission. Presidential hopefuls have until Wednesday to file their documents with the commission. Many Congolese are concerned about how Katumbi's supporters will react if the government continues to keep him out. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa.